Hey guys, and welcome back to Steamworks. So this morning coming in, I was just noticing all the water on the roads. We've been getting a, an exponential amount of rain from the, this hurricane that was coming off of the Gulf Coast. And uh, uh, last week's rain, this week, we I've just really seen our roads and uh, bridges getting tested from all this water. And it had me thinking about how we use uh, water to actually hydro test these boilers. And so I figured today I was gonna take you for a quick look in our uh, boiler washout bay, as we call it, where we do our, uh, not only our water side and fire side cleanings, but our uh, hydro test for each boiler every year. So let's go check it out. So guys, we're here in our boiler washout facility where our rental boilers will get their fire side and water side cleanings, and after which they'll receive what's commonly referred to as a hydro test. So when boilers are fired and, it, and steam is being generated, the pressure inside these vessels is steadily going up. And should the vessels, tube, tube sheets, or uh, the furnace become compromised in any way, then this will not only decrease the boiler's efficiency, but it will also get worse over as time goes by and could even become a dangerous situation. Now, sometimes leaks, cracks, pinholes and ruptures can occur and be very hard to detect through just normal operations and as previously mentioned they will only worsen over time and if you've ever been in a boiler room with a leaky boiler then it's got inefficient written all over it and not to mention the repair cost associated with it. So regular monitoring is important to ensure that the vessel's pressure requirements are satisfactory for its operation. Section 1 of ASME Boiler Pressure Vessel Code for power boilers requires that all new boilers are pressure tested at 1.5 times the maximum allowable working pressure. So for example, a 200 pound boiler would be required to be hydroed at 300 PSI. This construction data can be found on the P2 of a boiler, which is like what I call the birth certificate for the boiler. It will show these certified hydrostatic test results for the vessel or for each vessel constructed. Now for new units, this is almost always performed at the manufacturer. However, once the boiler leaves the factory, whether it's installed at a facility or used as a mobile unit like we have here, they will still be required to be hydro tested from time to time. Now oftentimes these field hydros are because of repairs, retubes, or alterations that may have been performed. These pressure requirements and frequencies can vary based on jurisdictional specifics and as with our mobile boilers we may have a unit that is on rental in one area where the inspector requests a hydro test on site whereas another inspector is satisfied with that particular boiler's current operating certificate. Now inspectors may choose not to witness each hydro test but may request for it for some reason if they feel the need and this is why it's really important to have consistent process along with good documentation to show that the hydrostatic test procedures as well as the results for each op or each boiler that's in operation is being archived properly. Part of our quality assurance for our mobile boilers maintenance program is an annual hydro test following the water side opening and inspection. After the water side is cleaned and a visual inspection is performed, all gaskets will be replaced and closed back up. The boiler will then be filled and allowed to sit overnight in order to let the city water temperature acclimate to the air temperature. And with a set of certified or calibrated gauges installed and using an electronic hydro pump, the boiler will then be brought up to a set or a test pressure and monitored for a set amount of time based on the rating of that particular boiler. The hydrostatic test is an important part for not only the vessel, but the attached components such as the valves and fittings, and incorporating a hydro test into your boiler's maintenance plan is a key component for having an efficient and reliable plan. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, be sure and hit that thumbs up button down there, and also make sure and subscribe to our channel so you can get all of the latest content and updates from Power Mechanical. And I hope all this rain has moved on and everybody's safe out there. And other than that, we'll see you next week for another Steamworks. <music>